I'm old. You should listen to me. I've learned a lot over the years. Did you ever think t you and Tamara would be in a good place, good-ish place? Yeah, I always thought we would because we were all like sisters in the beginning. We watched every episode together at my house. Our kids all were raised together for five or six years, and except Shane wasn't around much because obviously he had left for school. But um, no, I, I knew it was just something she did. I don't. I know she planned to throw wine on me. I don't think she planned to throw it in my face because she knew that my trying to help her not press certain kind of charges against Simon that would cause him to lose his job, mm -hmm. that I just said, get a restraining order, not the other one that made him lose his job, which is your support. Mm -hmm. So she just didn't understand. She was young. Yeah. Now I'm sure she understands it. I cared about both of them and, and I put eye drops in. And it came from a good place. I always give people advice. If you don't want it, don't listen to it. But I'm old, you should listen to me. I've learned a lot over the years. <laughs> Is it true that you had like blurred vision for a few weeks following the whole drink throwing incident? Yeah, if you've ever gotten lemon or alcohol in your eye by accident, opening champagne or something, yeah, it was maybe a week and a half. Yeah, that's a little They gave me drops and stuff and dilated my eyes, but it burned. It was like a full glass of wine, and I don't know why my eyes didn't blink shut. Okay. I think it was shock. <laughs> yeah, probably. I mean, yeah. it, have you, Vicki and Tamara, gotten together? I know you said like maybe a couple months back on a podcast that you were all thinking about getting together, but did that ever happen? Oh, yeah, I think it was my birthday. Tamara and Vicki had said, let's get together. And then, was that right when Vicki ended up buying the house in Mexico, maybe? And everybody just got busy. Yeah. Were you shocked uh, that Vicky, Shannon, and Tamara are no longer friends? Well, that's, oh, Vicky and Tamara are friends. I'm sorry. Yes. No, I'm sorry that Vicky and Tamara are no longer friends with Shannon. They aren't for the moment, but I'm sure that'll change. You know, they went through a lot together and they were the three amigos and one of them will run into each other somewhere and it'll be over. That's the good thing about having relationships with women like your sisters. You, it all gets blurred in the end. What does it matter? I mean, when Simon um, was diagnosed with cancer, all of us reached out to both of them. And, you know, it's just, it's life and life moves on and people do bad things and you forgive and forget, yeah. that's all. Definitely. Do you think Bravo made a mistake in not having Tamara and Vicky back? I personally am betting that Tamara is coming back to the Housewives. I think uh, Kathleen French had once told me she was like liquid gold. Everything that came out of her mouth <laughs> of course, I laughed insanely like a hyena at the time. But I think Tamara will be back. And I know Vicky would like to go back, mm -hmm. but I don't know if she will. I don't know if they would want her back or not. I think it's moving in this gener you know, the younger generation. And it's really not that believable, even though I have a lot of girlfriends that are 35 to 45 when we hang out. But it's not really believable that five women of all these assorted ages would go on a trip together without their fiancés or husbands or boyfriends or something. I mean, girls' trips are fun, but come on. Group, you know, this age, nowadays, nobody really wants to be away from their significant other for eight days on a trip. I'd rather go with couples. It's more fun. Yeah. Do you think that you could ever do this again or would want to do this again? You know, they'll probably come out with a show in the next few years about where the Housewives Now sort of show where they'll come back and revisit everybody's life for a few minutes. And I think that'd be fun. Mm -hmm. But I have been on a, I've been to come to some of the things. Bronwyn had invited me to the opening premiere of her, for you know, first season, first episode. She had the premiere at her girlfriend's house. Um, and everybody wore sky tops in honor of me. I thought it was so cute. I love like, that. you guys, where did you get those things? But they went <laughs> online and found them, and then she had a whole bunch on a rack because people couldn't find them. And I thought that was really sweet of her. I've known her since she was a little girl. Yeah. What did you think about her story this season, and how is she doing right now? Well, I heard she broke up with her girlfriend, and mm -hmm. I haven't heard if she's back with her husband full time or if she's looking for other girls. Or I think she's just going through changes and. I've known their whole family because Colton was best friends with her cousin, Tyler. So Colton grew up at that house with Daddy Ray, the grandfather of uh, Bronwyn, who raised her when her mother went off to college. So he, he raised most of his daughter's children. So he was a really cool guy. Taught my son a lot about fixing things and sewing things and 
Colton can take stitches out of people and he's really talented from that guy who was a doctor. Yeah. You know, I spoke to Gretchen recently and she said, which was kind of interesting. She said that this season really didn't have a lot of relatability. She felt like she really couldn't relate to what was going on in everybody's lives. And, you know, Andy said that he thinks that, you know, Real Housewives of OC needs to be reworked. Do you agree with that? It was a rough season with not really being able to film and having the cast be their own producer, you know, directors and stuff. So I'm sure it needs some work. I didn't get to watch all the episodes, but I watched a little bit of all of them. I thought it was entertaining. I don't know, I kind of liked back in our day when we were celebrating our kids getting, going off to college, going off to jail, going wherever they were going. You know, we had more meaning with the families than just women going out and getting their faces done, their lips done, doing a lot of crazy stuff. Yeah, you think it was more, yeah. more real life back then? Well, back then, nobody knew then it all became, let's promote this, and I've got vodka, I've got purses, I've got makeup. Everybody had a something they wanted to promote, so I don't know. Then it stopped being kind of real.